Hello everyone. So today's PYQ with solution series is all about unit 2 focusing on 2B that is cytoskeletal system. What kind of questions you can expect from here? Well, you can expect proteins related questions and those proteins can be divided into three categories. First part is you can expect cytoskeletal protein related questions that is related to microtubules microfilaments or intermediate filaments. Second category is related to accessory proteins. Again, it comes under the category of microtubules and microfilaments. And third category are inhibitors. And we have inhibitors for microtubules as well as microfilaments. And what is the format of questions you can expect from here? We can expect match the following kind of questions or statement based questions and majority of times you will find that they are being asked under part C that is 4 marks question. So let's look up into the questions now. The first question is about the microtubules and microfilaments, their corresponding accessory proteins and their relevant function. So you have to be very clear with the categories of proteins and examples of proteins. So here the correct answer is option 3. So we will check out how the option 3 is correct once we are clear with the categories of proteins. So here are some major accessory proteins related to microtubules. Gamma turk, gamma tubulin ring complex. They will go and attach to the minus end of the microtubule, thereby helps in nucleation, that is assembly. Statmine, they will bind to the subunits of microtubules, preventing the assembly. Subunits in the sense we have alpha and beta. Assembly, preventing the assembly in the sense we call this as a catastrophic event. Next, we have plus tips. That means, as the name indicates, bound toward the plus end of the microtubule. And where exactly they are bound? Maybe they, uh, they are linked to some structures like membranes. Kinesin 13 and XMAP 215, both are having opposite functions. That means, their target is the same. That means, plus end. But, Kinesin 13 will help in disassembly, that is catastrophic event, whereas XMAP 25 will be involved in accelerating the assembly, that is we call it as a rescue event. Catenin breaks down the microtubules, severs the microtubules. MAPS, that is microtubule associated proteins. Stabilizes the overall microtubules by binding along the sides. Then we have another category. We call it as an filament bundling like tau protein and MAP2. Cross-linking like we have plectin. Okay, so this is a category of filament bundling and cross-linking proteins. So plectin basically connects two different proteins together. For example, it will be connecting microtubules on one end towards the intermediate filaments on the other. Next, we have the major accessory proteins related to actin cytoskeletal. Formin, they will go and bind towards the plus or the growing end of the microfilament. That is, they help in nucleation, that is assembly. ARP 2 bar 3, they are attached to the minus end. They also help in the nucleation, but they will form branches like this. Thymosin, they will bind to the subunits and prevents the assembly. So, here subunits in the sense, we all know that we have G-actin present. That is globular form of actin, the monomeric form which will form dimer trimer and finally we will get the filament form of actin that is the active form. Profiline, they will bind to the subunits and helps in elongation of the protein. Tropomoduline, not to be confused with the term tropomoduline and tropomyosine. Tropomoduline means some modulation. 
So here what they are doing? Preventing the assembly and disassembly at minus n. Whereas tropomyosin is like microtubule associated protein that is stabilizing the overall filament. Gelsolin is related to catenin that is severing the filament towards the plus n. Coffelin disassembly. How? By binding to ADP actin filaments. That is the minus n. And capping protein towards the plus n. There is neither assembly nor disassembly. Then some group of proteins categorized as filament bundling, cross-linking, attachment to the membranes. We have fimbrin, alpha actinin, filamin, spectrin and ER. So let's go back to the question to understand the answer. So here the answer is 3. X3A. Microtubule. Tau protein involved in cross-linking of filaments. X1D that is microtubule catenin severs the filament. Y2C. Y-actin example is tropomodulin and it prevents the assembly and disassembly at minus n. And Y4B, that is gelsolin, similar to catenin, they will be sever the filament and binds towards the plus N. So now you realized that without remembering these proteins example, it will be tough for you to get into the answer. So it is very important, first thing is to understand what are the proteins comes under microtubules. And what are the proteins comes under microfilaments? Secondly, you must be clear whether it is bound towards the plus end or it is bound towards the minus end. Thirdly, you have to be clear whether it promotes assembly or it promotes disassembly. So if you are clear with these categories related to proteins, it will be easy for you to get into an answer. Now, based on this, let's take up another question. Cellular actin levels can be as high as 100 to 400 micromolar. Of this, unpolymerized actin concentration can be as much as 50 to 200 micromolar. However, the critical concentration for actin polymerization in vitro is about 0.2 micromolar. So here there are some proteins provided that inhibits the polymerization of actin in the cells. We have thymosin beta 4, capping proteins, tropomodulin, XMAP215. You have to identify the group of inhibitors out of this. So the correct answer over here is option 1 that is A, B, C. One thing is that all the among the four protein, it is the XMAP215 that comes under microtubules. Remaining all are microfilaments. That is one point. Another point is that this is the only one which promotes the assembly. And rest all are related to disassembly of proteins. So these are the two ways we can correlate to get the answer. So, as you might be aware, this is also a question where you have to be clear with the categories of proteins along with their associated function. So, we can see when bound to actin, thymosin beta 4 strongly inhibits the exchange of nucleotide that is blocking its dissociation. Capping protein regulates the polymerization by binding the barbed end. Barbed end means the plus end which blocks the addition as well as loss of proteins, that is subunits. Tropomodulin, a cytoskeletal protein that binds to the ends of erythrocyte tropomyosin, thereby inhibiting the tropomyosin binding to the actin. And lastly, we have XMAP215. It's a microtubule plus N directed my, uh, binding protein which alters the microtubule dynamics by promoting the microtubule growth.
Then third question. Sometimes you can also expect image related questions as well. To understand the motor activity of a freshly purified motor protein from budding yeast, a researcher set up microtubule based gliding assay. In such an assay where microtubules are fluorescently tagged at its flux end, researcher observed that this motor protein will move the microtubule in the plus end of the in the plus end or towards the plus end. Now you need to identify that motor protein that is moving. So here we have options as dynein, myosin, kinesin, either dynein or kinesin. So the correct answer is dynein over here. So how dynein is the correct answer? We know that kinesin is the one that is responsible for moving towards the plus end. Dynein is the one that moves towards the minus end. So how dynein is correct over here? As you can see in this image, the displacement of microtubule is taking place from minus end to plus end. That is true. Right? Microtubule is moving from minus end to plus end. But the motor protein, that is the circles which you see, are moving towards the minus end, that is the circles. Okay? So now this is moving towards the minus end. So that's the reason correct answer over here is dynein. So it says that this protein moves the microtubules to plus end, means itself it moves towards the minus end. That means they are asking the direction of motor protein. So the answer is minus n that is dynein protein. So that's it. So I hope so you got an idea about how questions uh, are coming from the cytoskeletal part. Be clear with the accessory proteins and categories. Definitely you will be able to get the 4 marks out of this easily and with confidence. Thank you so much.